lobby's closed and I need some protein. Thank you for choosing McDonald's tonight. May we take your order, please? Yes, please. I'll get a 10-piece uh, chicken nugget and... What kind of sauce would you like to have with that? Ranch, please. What else for you? A uh, large sweet tea with light ice. Anything else? That's all. Thank you very much. It's going to be 4 dollars window. All right, thank you. Thank you. So a weird thing happened to me before I came in here. I'm in like a, a shopping center, I guess. You know, like a grocery store and a Dollar General and an Ace and all that stuff. But what's interesting is in front of the grocery store, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Uh, I, th there was this Nissan hard body pickup truck, and uh, it was going like super slow over these speed bumps. And I'm like, well, I got a ways to go through this parking. That PT Cruiser is a booking. Anyway, I got a ways to go through this parking lot, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut through the the parking spots it's all empty i can see i'm not doing anything crazy and i'm gonna i'm gonna cut through here and go around him and whatever so i go around him and then he starts speeding up behind me before i can get back onto the actual road and if you if, if i haven't told you i'm riding a tw200 which has 14.8 horsepower according to the title which Maybe faster than a Nissan Pathfinder hard body. Well, it's not a Pathfinder, Frontier. Well, anyway, the only thing I can do is goose it. See if I can get away from this guy. I guess a Yamaha TW200 is faster than a, um, a Nissan Frontier. Which is good for me. I mean, that guy was mad. I don't know why. He's like, you he can't motorcycle kids in there. Loud exhaust. And of course, he proceeds to skirt, skirt tires all over the place and get out of here just so he knows I'm mad, or knows. So I know that he's mad. Whatever. This is so sketchy. It doesn't seem sketchy, though, because now that I get off work, at 11 and it's dark outside and I ride my bike to the gym and I'm at the gym at 11 o'clock at night it's just not sketchy anymore like it might as well be middle of the day but I don't see it as such a big deal anymore free second shift I would not be sitting here at this time of night it would mean I do something political to talk about I'll tell you. <laughs> he did it too. What is that, a Honda Rebel? Maybe he'll come this way. Yeah, here he comes. Look, he's got the bag in his mouth. <laughs> he's got the bag in his mouth. What a G. I guess you had the same problem as me, huh? I had to ride my bike through the drive through too. Oh, yeah. yeah, cause the lobby's closed. Yeah. Your strategy was a bit different than mine. You you did the 
hold the bag in your mouth. That's pretty smart. I stuck my food back on the rack and then I held the tea in my right hand and then I just eased the clutch out so I could go forward to the spot. Worked pretty good. It is, man. You got gloves? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What kind of bike is that? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I just started riding. I don't know the bikes well. That's a Yamaha TW200. Yeah, that's the idea. Mostly off road. You can tell by the dirt on it. It's a 2020, but they made them back in 87. Other than the paint, it's basically the same bike. back to talking to you without seeming like a crazy person well that's debatable um, but yeah what I wanted to get to is well, I'm not particularly spooked right now I tell you what I would feel a lot safer if I had a thing on me if you know what I mean if I had that that scrap locked you know what I mean but the laws of this land for forbid such activities so here I am all I got is the old concealed weapon there he goes but I mean ain't no slouches but it ain't no 38 I'd rather have the 38 of course I can't because I'm not 21 don't worry about getting shot up wherever you are. You guys going through here again. It just doesn't happen. Look at the statistics. It's basically impossible. But also look at the statistics and see how many times guns are used in self-defense scenarios. A lot. A lot more. I mean, first of all, it's immeasurable. We don't know how many people just kind of, you know, lift up the shirt so everybody knows that they got that thing on them and nobody needs to mess with them. Of course, they don't go... I just had to, hey, let me go, 911 guy. I just had to, like, you know, pull that, that thing out, you know, let him know, like, I ain't playing no games on, like, saying no joke, you know what I mean? People don't do that. But it happens a lot. Like, we know that. And even if it did, it's still a violation of the rights of a person. A person has a God given right to self defense. And I think they also have a God given right to shoot black tar heroin up in their veins. After they're 18. Important distinction. You don't have some like eight year old saying like, Mommy, I wanna do black tar heroin. And then mommy's like, no, and then CPS is like, you're violating his human rights by not letting him do black tar heroin. No. Or even a 17.99999 year old. No. But an 18.00001 year old? Go for it, man go crazy that's also why people under 18 shouldn't get gender reassignment surgeries nobody should get gender reassignment surgeries because it's not possible to reassign your gender you are what you are I guess unless until science comes up with something that lets you replace every individual cell in your body the genome of every single strand of DNA until then you're a boy, you're a boy, and then you're a girl. But yeah, that's another problem. That's why I'd say you, you couldn't do things permanent to anyone under 18. But some of you might say, well, what about giving them braces or something? Well, that's different. Because medically we can show that a person's body is supposed to be like this because it works best like this. It's the most functional this way. Just like it's the most functional when it hasn't had its penis chopped off. It's the most functional when all its teeth 
are, you know, in the right spot so it can chew its food and digest properly. Unlike me, Hillbilly Adam. But of course, that's all I am. Just some hillbilly talking shit on the internet, so. I'm starting to get cold. I'm almost out of tea. So I think I'm gonna end it here. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye.